Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is April 25th, 2024. Now, yesterday I spoke about how my insurance claim for gender-affirming surgery was denied because it did not address a life-threatening situation and waiting as long as six years was acceptable. Now, some of you took issue with that. Notably, Karen Not a Karen mentioned that that ignores the mental health aspect of gender-affirming care. And I agree wholeheartedly. You do not need to look very far on the internet to find some statistics. Greater than 80% of the transgender community experiences suicidal ideation. And greater than 40%, including me, will make at least one attempt at suicide in our lives. Because this is not an easy burden to carry. Does gender-affirming surgery address a life-threatening situation? Yes! How much more proof could you need? So given the choice between supporting a company and a system that finds my life expendable as the deaths pile up in my community, I will take my dollars and my life elsewhere to Thailand so I can get the gender-affirming care that I need. So please, help me. Follow me, like, subscribe, and talk about this with a hashtag Ami in Thailand. We can address this gender affirming care saves lives. We'll talk to you tomorrow.